So right now, let's take a look at sports uh, from yesterday. We'll start off uh, in the NFL. In the NFL. And uh, we'll start off with uh, the scores from yesterday, of course. The Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? They defeated the Commanders from Washington 25-10. to 10. The Titans over the Colts, 24-17. The Seahawks over the Lions, 48-45. The New York Giants raised their record to 3-1. They downed the Bears, 20-12. They lost two quarterbacks and a couple of other players due to injury. Actually, uh, Shaquan Barkley was a quarterback for a while. It It was wild. Absolutely wild. But I tell you what, their defense is playing extremely well this year. Extremely well. They kept them in the game. And then, well, Shaquan, the leading leading rusher in the NFL right now, Shaquan Barkley uh, had another great game, 147 yards. Cardinals over the Panthers, 26-18. to Now, why did it just flip around? This is just absolutely uh, amazing uh, what's going on this morning. <laughs> All right. So uh, the Titans defeated the Colts 24 to 17. Uh, and uh, like we said, uh, the Giants won. The Vikings defeated the Saints 28 to 25. The Bills, what a comeback. They were down. I think they were down 20 to nothing. Well, they ended up winning 23 to 20 anyway. The Atlanta Falcons down the Browns, 23-20. to 20. The Jets, what a comeback there. Mauled the Steelers. The Steelers are just playing terrible this year. 24-20, uh, to 20. good for the Jets. They're now 2-2. Two and two. The Giants are 3-1. and one. Chargers defeated the Texans, 34-24. to 24. The Philadelphia Eagles are now 4-0. They defeated the Jaguars, 29-21. Raiders over the Broncos, 32-23. to Packers got by the Patriots. What a game that was. 27-24. to Once again, the Patriots lost their backup quarterback and had to bring in a third-string quarterback, and they still almost won the game. And the Chiefs, well, it turned out to be a 10-point game, but they really dominated against the Buccaneers, 41-31. Uh, to uh, Tonight, Monday Night Football, the Rams and the 49ers get together, all right? Okay. With that being said, let us move on to Major League Baseball and another big record, another big record uh, was set, and um, it was set by Albert Pujols, uh, and uh, he happened to hit... Why is this going crazy? I'm having nothing but problems with my computers this morning. Or maybe my computers are having nothing but problems with me. (laughs) I wanted you to play. I wanted to play uh, the the Albert Pujols home run, his 702nd home run of his career. Uh, which is just magnificent. Here's a guy who everybody thought was finished with his career. Nope, what a final year he's had. 213 runs batted in, one back of Babe Ruth for second all-time in the history of Major League Baseball. The 0-1. Albert lifts it in the air, out to center. Going back, Reynolds at the wall. He's done it! He's done it! His final regular season home game, number 702. He's tied the game. He's tied Babe Ruth all time and runs batted in. 2,214. Are you kidding me with number five? All without steroids. All without steroids. Albert Pujols. Absolutely Uh, magnificent. All right, let's take a look at some other baseball scores involving teams we know and love. Uh, The Yankees fell to Baltimore 3-1. Judge is sitting at 
61. He needs one home run to get to 62. Uh, Boston fell to Toronto 6-3. to By the way, the Yankees played a, whole, you know, a lot of wild... People it didn't look like a normal Yankee team. I guess they don't want to get injuries. Uh, or any more injuries uh, than they have. Um, the Mets... Unfortunately, they were swept by Atlanta, a five to three, and what does that mean for standings wise? Well, for the Mets, um, they are now in second place by two full games, and I think there's only three or four games left in the season, so it's we'll have to see what happens. I mean, they're going to make the playoffs. So this, you know, that's that's definite. But Atlanta looks like they're going to win the division. So the division leaders, as it stands right now, uh, in uh, the American League, Houston won the Central, the Yankees won, and Cleveland won. In the wild card race, Toronto, Seattle, and Tampa Bay. Uh, Toronto is most wins. Seattle is next, and then Tampa Bay is third. Uh, and uh, in the National League, of course, the Dodgers uh, won their division. St. Louis won their division. Atlanta is leading their division. The Mets are the first wild card team. Uh, and uh, San Diego is next, and Philadelphia is next after that. Uh, so that is the uh, baseball, the baseball breakdown. Uh, from yesterday. All right? All right. In college football, only halfway through the season, Wisconsin fired their head coach after they started the season two and three. And uh, really, that's a check on sports from yesterday here on The Breakfast Club.